it is embarkation day. We're going on Mariner of the Seas. We just got parked. I can't wait. Come with us. We're about to go into the cruise port and get in the ship. The reason we decided to do a really late arrival. Now, really, our check-in was at noon. But we got here now because, one, you see I'm carrying on this luggage. And we got wine and stuff. So I didn't want to get here early and have to lug this thing around. And I'm not going to go run to the buffet. I'm saying that now, but we'll see. <laughs> I think I might go get some pizza instead or just explore the ship. But the main reason was I just wanted to get here late so we I don't have to lug this around. And usually the, the rooms, they're ready around 1.32. So it's not too much lag time. And we're on here for nine days. This is a back-to-back, -back, guys. So subscribe. There'll be a lot of content. We're here. Now, look, it wasn't that bad of a, a walk. We're in the north lot. So if any of you want the North Premium Lot park here, uh, if you literally can walk straight to the terminal, you won't have to take any shuttles to get over. When we did that last time, we had a shuttle, I think in Terminal 10, but I like this a lot better. Let's go. Oh, we made it inside. Oh. Yeah, so as you can see, check in this way or check in that way. Which way will we go? I'm thinking left. This is actually familiar, but let's get the party started. We made it past the, the screening. Now, I'll say this. This is a back to back. You know you can bring one bottle, 750 milliliter bottle of wine per adult per stateroom. We bought two. Now, I don't know if that's legit or not, but we made it. It's gonna work. We're legit in that aspect. It kind of makes me wonder, could I have brought more? <laughs> I don't know. Right, there's the ship right there look look at it look at it oh my god oh i always love this part of it you get to see the ship before you get on walking onto the cruise ship for the first time so i love this part here we go ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes finally on board so First order of business, go to our mustard station. So D17, you gotta get the D17, which actually is straight ahead right here. Let's go. Mustard's finished. And ironically, as we were going through the mustard station, the rooms are actually ready. So we can actually go to her rooms right now. I swear this could not have worked out perfectly. I mean, I mean more perfectly. This was, the timing of this was just impeccable. All right, as we walk into the ship, main dining. Ooh. This looks very familiar. Yep. If you remember the Freedom vlog, like this is, this looks just like Freedom. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know, while I'm here at the main dining, I'm gonna see if we can get a table for two. He sent us down to deck three to get that thing for the table two, but look what I see, the menu for tonight. The welcome aboard menu, escargot, shrimp, okay. New York strip, southern fried chicken. Yes, this looks very familiar. Cheesecake, yep, exactly. See, this is what happens when you, get, when you go on too many cruises. I mean, this is only our, technically our third cruise, but that welcome aboard menu is very familiar. Let's try to get this table for two. Oh, we the main dining. I'm on deck three, by the way. There's four, five, and then right there is the chef's table experience. But yes, very, very elegant main dining area. That was done. That's pretty easy. So, little piece of advice: um, when you come on board, I'm gonna tell you something. Go find out where your table is, where you're seating for dining, because what'll happen is when you actually, when it comes time to your dinner time, there'll be a, like a log jam at the door and all of the waitresses and hosts, whatever, they're gonna escort you to your table. But if you already know where your table is, you can just bypass the big line of people waiting to get inside and just go walk straight to your table. Little pro tip, they do that mainly on the first night. This is the wonderful photo gallery where you'll go after they take all your pictures and look straight ahead. Studio B. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is where they have the ice skating show. They have the nightclub. Let me see if it's actually open. This is actually funny seeing Studio B like this because typically this place is dark. Like you, you cannot, <laughs> typically you can't see in here. Uh, but I never knew. Well, maybe it's just on Mariner. There's actually porthole windows right here. Uh, 
in Studio B. I'm going to have to pay attention to we, when we come to the ice skating show to see if these windows are visible, like they're really visible to see out of. But this is a different take on Studio B. Oh, look at this. Now, this is the promenade. Well, right here. So you can actually see down to like deck three, you know, deck four, five, and I'm on six right now, but that's guest services. The lines are long already. We got to go get find our room. So yeah, give you guys a room tour. Stay tuned. All right. So 6373, this is her room. And yeah, 6375, this guy right here. Yeah. So. She, she has her own stateroom. I have my own stateroom. How are you doing? So you might you might be wondering why we both have different staterooms. I'll explain here in a second. Oh, by the way, when we were walking down, we saw her luggage there, you know, waiting to get brought over to her room. So I told her, I was like, hey, just grab your luggage. We'll have to wait for the guy to bring it down. I didn't see mine, so I, I got to wait. Do we have the stateroom? All right, here we are. Help! 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 <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Barely. <laughs> so these are connected interiors, but we're gonna have to have them open this door. So whenever we find out who our stateroom attendant is, we'll tell him to open the door, and then obviously we'll just leave this door open. But last time we were on Freedom. If you haven't watched those videos, go watch the videos on Freedom of us doing the back to back. We did not get the same stateroom for both legs. So this time we did. So, whoo wee. But I'm gonna go over to her room because there's really not much over here. See what her room looks like. Oh, she's not even in. Oh, uh, let, let, let me help her with her bags. There, there we go. Uh, uh, you got it? You got it? Uh, I got uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Although this is in my room, I was they're identical, so I'll just show you. So here's the uh, bathroom, you know, tube style with the little water beads here. Yeah, same thing. Have the little clothesline there. Boom, boom. Simple, simple bathroom. Nothing extravagant. As you can see, toilet, towels, you know, this is what you get. Pretty, pretty simple. Let's go into the closet. As you can see here, simple hangers you got some shelving life vest etc etc simple simple little couch bed together as we expect you know tv a uh, little dresser i guess and we got the uh, uh, here we go the little fridge where we'll put the wine let's go and okay two outlets you got the euro outlet there let's see horror movie lights yep horror movie lights there we go so this is the room tour you see you got the mirror right there so you can see watch yourself getting freaky and you guys might be wondering why we got two bedrooms it made me think of it because i just brought up the word freaky um yeah so we got two rooms or two cabins because uh we plan on having some freak offs so one room will be for the freak offs this room will just be for the you know, the, the chill down i even i even got is the baby oil in here is it is it is it in this one where's the baby oil where where, where, where is it in? which bag is it in which which one is it in is it, you only worried about baby oil. Yeah, we, we brought some we brought some oil, so so yeah. <laughs> so that's why we got these two cabins. Freak off over there, chill out over here, okay? You know, but <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll explain later why we got two cabins. Uh, is this the baby oil? Is this the bag the oil's in? Here's the baby oil. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yet to these. Let me see if I can find the stateroom attendant. Let me stop goofing off. Oh, still hasn't brought the bag. Whoa, this is interesting. Okay, here is actually my bag. This is my luggage right here. 
I don't know why it's by this room, but nevertheless, let's make it happen. The one thing I do like about this, because it's a five day and a four day, I literally get to unpack. The, what I told you guys, if you watched the videos from my back to back on Freedom earlier this year, what I didn't like about it was living out of a suitcase because we had three days in one room and then four days in, the, in another and we could just never really get unpacked. This one, we're doing nine days. So I'm gonna be using these drawers. I'm gonna be using, you know, all of this. So I, I'm unloading, man. I'm, I'm treating this like my home away from home. And by the way, we're in the freak off room if you haven't noticed. So let me get unpacked and I'll get back with you guys. I literally just got done unpacking. Let me know in the comments below, how many of you actually fully unpack? I'm talking like using all the hangers, you know, you put all the stuff where you organize everything on shelves and everything, all that, you know, you got the undies set up, you know, you got the t-shirts in there, you know, you got your sock drawer and all that. Let me know how many of you guys actually fully unpack on these cruises. Hey, all right, you unpacked? Uh, not yet. All right, special delivery. There you go. Okay, thank you. you. See, this is, see, I've already unpacked. She started unpacking before me. She's still I not. I two suitcases and you won. I had to. I have more clothes. So she thinks. She does have some stuff that I do need to take back to my room. I just noticed. Fragrance check. Let's do this real quick. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, bond number nine, Bleecker Street, and Nishane Hasivat. It's kind of like a Creed Aventus clone, what some people say. I don't necessarily agree. I get what they're talking about, but I don't get it. Let me know in the comments which fragrances you guys bring on these cruises. So along with the fragrance check, we got to do the wristwatch check. So today, or this trip, I brought with me the Tag Heuer Carrera. I bought the fake Pepsi. It's not really a fake Rolex, it's really a Seiko, it's a custom modded Seiko. I could just bang this thing around, it's waterproof and live like with no regard. And it, it looks nice. A lot of people actually think it's a Rolex, but it isn't. Or they think it's really, really nice, but I mean, it, it does look really nice, but you know, it's just a custom modded Seiko. So shout out to my, the guy who made this for me. I don't know if you noticed this, ice is available upon request for the freak offs. So we're down at the promenade, we made it. We're finishing our rooms, but there's the next cruise over there. And again, guest services, line still long. One thing I noticed, this is one difference. I didn't pick up on this at first, but I, I see this now. On Freedom, they actually have a bridge that goes from here, connects you from here to the promenade. This one is just kind of open, almost slightly atrium style, not really, but you got the spiral staircase. So that's a slight difference, but a lot of the other stuff, it looks the same. But again, it still has the same type of uh, promenade. They got the LED lights at the top, you can see. I think it's the MSC Maravilia. They have an LED promenade, and, but they do like different, their LEDs are, are cooler than this. This is just kind of like ho-hum. I want to go to Cafe Promenade and I heard they have pizza there. So, and also I heard their pizza is better than Sorrento. Oh, and that's uh, down to the casino. Cafe Promenade here. I'm gonna try to get some pizza. So, oh, and they have Playmakers here. So their Playmakers is actually in the Promenade, which I don't know how, Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that one, but I wonder though, if you're in here watching something, like how, how, how does the noise bleed from the promenade to Playmakers to you actually trying to actually watch something on TV? I wonder if the bleed is bad. It might be though. All right. They say it's better. I'm probably going to get some pepperoni. All right, there's a pizza. They say it's better than Sorrento's. Let's see if these vloggers are lying, man. You know, vloggers lie all the time. Is it better than Sorrento? It is? Honestly, I would have to slightly agree too. I guess Cafe Promenade Pizza on Mariner, it is better. Now, we're gonna have to run another experiment. The experiment is, because I've heard this, if you get a fresh pizza, it's better than the one that you get just the slices from. So, We'll run another experiment where we get fresh pizza. Oh, also, they do gluten-free crust and all this stuff. So, so we'll get a gluten-free crust, crust, fresh pizza next time. 
But so far, so good. There's the Star Lounge right there. And then you got the fourth deck of the Royal Theater and then the third deck at the bottom. Right here, they have the library. Let's see, it. let's see if there's anyone in here. I doubt it, especially on Sail Away. Oh, oh God. Hey. hey, there are a few people here. This is one of those chill spots. Come here, read a book, lounge. Oh, okay. Does it go out to the helipad? Ah, oh, I was wondering. So. You can open it. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and go out there. Cause I had to make sure it wasn't a door to Narnia. I thought maybe it was. Ah, uh, <laughs> learn something. There is an, the exit to the, to, to get to the helipad through the library. The, the, now, here's the Star Lounge here. Oh wait, there is an exit even here from the, from the Star Lounge. The lady was saying like there's that exit from the library car room. This is the exit right he here to get out of there. And obviously this is uh, the Star Lounge. That was funny. <laughs> it's funny, I walked back in there and I scared the ladies. <laughs> the people that were in there, they would just start laughing. <laughs> Off to the helipad. Here's a look at the Port of Galveston. They got the bridge up there. There's actually, on deck 10, there's a peekaboo area where you could actually look down into the bridge. You got some of the crew members there over there working out. But here's a look at the Port of Galveston. I've, I've actually never seen, you know, this part of the Port of Galveston before. And boys, that water looked dirty. Last time we sailed out of Galveston, we were on Harmony and Harmony, yeah, Harmony doesn't have a, uh, well, it has a helipad, but they don't allow you to go onto the helipad on Harmony, so. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Like I say, good spot to take pictures and all that. Oh, so here on the other side, you can see this is the other side of the Star Lounge. So this one, there's no entrance or exit. It's just crew only right there. Which I was wondering where those doors went. Oh, actually, I'm gonna be a little naughty. Let's see. Oh, okay, because it kind of goes to a kitchen or something. And this is actually takes you down to the walking track. So this thing wraps around the ship and it goes around to the other side where you would walk up from deck four onto the helipad. They have shuffleboard and other stuff out here. Look at this ship though. <laughs> Look how, I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope y'all can see this. How nasty that water is coming out of the side. It's like super black. Mind you, this portion of the cruise, we're gonna be exploring the ship these four days. Here's a zoomy. Oh, wait, can we go in here? They have one, two, three, four, five setups for hibachi. So, yeah. Cool thing is you, you should be able to find a seat here and get seated. This portion of the cruise is four day. We're gonna be doing a lot of like exploring the ship, showing you what's going down in the main dining, all the food and other stuff. But on the five day portion, that's why I say subscribe if you haven't. We have the dining package. So you're gonna see what it's like to eat in the Zumi, Jamie's, um, what else? Chops Grill, Johnny Rockets, which the dining package doesn't apply to Johnny Rockets, but we might eat Johnny Rockets. You can see here, Royal Theater again. Then you get the schooner bar and the casino, but I kinda wanna go here. Oh, okay. Okay, but yeah, this is the, the Royal Theater. Nice. Here's a gym, they got the dumbbells for the gym enthusiasts, myself included. Um, dumbbells go up to 75 pounds. They got all the little tiny mite weights, all that stuff. Small area for the for free weights, but of course they have a lot of machines. So all sorts of stuff. Leg extensions, abductors, abductors, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, as you can see, treadmills running all across. They only have one stair stepper. That's kind of a shame for the people that like stair steppers. Seated bikes, they got a rower, uh, then another cycle, couple ellipticals. But oh, one of the other reasons we we're coming up here, here is actually the Peekaboo Bridge. We'll come, we're gonna come out here and look actually later, but yeah. 
you can look down into the bridge and see the captain and all the people there. Oh, here's another important thing you need for your cruise. They actually have scales here. So you can you can see how how fat you got on your cruise and, and keep yourself honest. I said, hey, you better be under 130. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Busted. It's in a kilo. Oh, okay, so they have the lady sauna, men's sauna steam room. This is free too, by the way. Men's changing room and restroom. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. And by the way, guys, you can use these showers. So if you don't like the showers in your stateroom, you can come and use these showers right here. You can see waterfall type shower, way bigger than your stateroom. And these are free to use. You can literally, I mean, if you just want, or like, let's say you have, you, you're somewhere near deck, what, 11? And you wanna, or I think this is 12. This is either deck 11 or 12. You can come here and use the showers. Cause especially if you have a lot of people in your stateroom and you guys are just taking forever and taking up so much space, come down here. One of those perks of the cruise is just, hey, if you take advantage of it or not. Found the Peekaboo Bridge. Now look, I was just there in the gym, but here's the Peekaboo Bridge. You can actually look down in here and see, see the captain and whoever else is working right now. And then obviously, like you can see the helipad all the way down at the bottom through there. That's funny, he has like the, the Darth Vader chair. Okay, on the bridge, we're on the bridge. This is deck 11. R right below the gym, or right above the gym, deck 12. These are all ocean view panoramic rooms. We're gonna actually go up to this deck because over the next year, I have three more sailings on Mariner. One of those, one of these rooms. <laughs> And I'm actually, we're gonna walk up and I'm actually gonna uh, kind of take a peek at our room. It's on, this is deck 12, state room 1854. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, let, let's go up here and, and, and see. Who knows, if we run into the people there, maybe they'll give us a peek. All right, this is it, 1854. So, Hello, welcome yes. aboard. Hey, How are you? Good. What number are you looking for? Oh, we were looking for this one. This is not our room, but we will be in this room in another sailing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, next September. Oh. Next year. Next, next year. year. <laughs> yeah. This one is a bigger room. This is the biggest one. Big. Ah, so I picked the right one. <laughs> I picked. I picked the right room. That's good. We're on. Oh. We're on deck six now. Oh. Yeah. 1855 is a big one. Yeah. So you just only two of you or how many of you? Two. Oh, it's too big to talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, you, you're the stateroom attendant for these rooms? No, uh, actually I will be signing off next. So, uh, I mean next month. Next so month. this will be another person's come. Oh, uh, shucks. But my suggestion is if you come to the gym later on, you can bring like a, a football ball. So you can play football. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> All right, nice, nice to meet you. Okay. Yes. Big yeah. room. He says it's the biggest. So, see, I, I picked the right one. Now, look, we were thinking about possibly changing this sailing to something else, maybe doing like an Alaskan cruise. Let me know what you guys think. Should we, should we switch and do an Alaskan cruise or just ball out and keep the nice big ocean view panoramic grand suite equivalent room? All right, so in 30 minutes, <laughs> they're having the sail away party here. We're going to see how jumping it is or not. So far, I mean, it's all right. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. We'll see, though. We made our way into the Windjammer. They're closed. They're shutting this thing down. But this is it's pretty similar to the layout how we were on Freedom. And I don't like I don't like comparing ships, but this, even though it's a Voyager class ship, it's really sim it has a lot of similarities to Freedom. Like if you want to eat, have some good views. I always say like come to the app, and you have. Like really good views. You could just sit out here by the window and I guess uh, look out look into the port of Galveston. One little thing about the Windjammer, if you have a big party, like you easily sit here. That's a perfect place to sit if you got a big party. 
And of course, that's if it's available. There's actually one on each side. So this is Ellington. This is actually where they'll have the silent party, which I actually have one tonight. You can rent this area out. And as you can see, there's a lot of people here lounging. But we're gonna go to the sports court because sail away is in about 15 minutes. Here's the sports court. They got the sky pad. Here's the rock climbing wall. And we made our way to Johnny Rockets. And here's the menu. So you would get a starter and your choice of burgers or sandwiches, as you can see. And then here are the beverages. A lot of people like Johnny Rockets for the milkshakes. Maybe you should try a milkshake because I don't, I don't drink milkshakes. Now, if you guys don't know, with your crown and anchor benefits, you get, I think, 50% off if you're gold or above. Let me, yes, 50% off the Johnny Rockets milkshakes. You get two coupons per saline. Stay tuned to see how good this thing really is. First time trying the Johnny Rockets milkshake. Let's see. It's thick. Oh, it's like an ice cream. Really? Yeah. Is it good? It's good. It's ice cream. It's really good. The milkshakes cost five dollars. Cool, and then you get 50% off, and so it's 250, and then they add their gratuity in there, comes out to three, what, 16. The sail away party's happening. We're moving, we're in Johnny Rockets, and we realize, whoa, we're actually moving. Hey, it's more people up here than I expected. Oh, they got some people dancing over there. You're doing the wobble. You know, the classic Royal Caribbean dance. For some reason, I'm not feeling in the mood for to wild out for the sail away party but next sailing i might i might have some fun also we have gone in in about 45 minutes so i can't get too crazy remember we were in johnny rockets earlier and i was saying you get two coupons per sailing i actually stand corrected you get three per sailing now i guess it just wasn't updated on the site we're in the promenade by the way what we have on tap for tonight let's see let's see obviously we have to eat here in a few minutes we have the ice show at seven we have the uh, liquor tasting, so we'll see about that. The higher lower game show, the ice skating show, we have the late night comedy show, and then the club. So, a lot's on tap for tonight, so stay tuned. I already know what I'm gonna get. It's pretty much the same thing I, I get all the time on the, the welcome aboard menu. It's either gonna be steak, the fried chicken, or both with cheesecake. So, sitting here in the main dining, we're already into it, and she has escargot and the spinach artichoke dip i skipped the appetizer honestly and i got the southern fried chicken and the new york strip like i said i would earlier and the cheesecake so i'm sticking to my word i'm waiting for that to come but in the meantime let me try this spinach artichoke dip let's see is this enough let's see uh mm. It's creamy. It's spinachy. The chip is warm. This is nice. I don't know if they make these chips in the kitchen or not, but the chips are it's nice, thick chip. It's a thick chip. As you can see, you don't get that many chips, but. It's not bad. I'm a little skeptical of the artichoke, but not bad. Stay tuned for the main course though. Southern fried chicken, mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. There's a steak and she's already, well, she's about to get into her mushrooms. Stay tuned, stay tuned for this. All right, so look, they just took her plate away. She already finished her port portobello mushroom, but good, right? Okay, so update on the steak situation. So it was a little bit too cooked. I ordered it medium and it was like well done or medium well i just ordered the medium rare as you can see a lot more pink for my liking perfect now on to the chicken uh mashed potatoes good corn on the cob it's corn on the cob it's good chicken is actually this is probably the best one i've had the only thing i would say with the chicken is i i wish they would use a little less breading but it wasn't bad. It was more crispier than I've had before. Cause a lot of times when I have it, it's 
the, the bread is, it gets a little bit soggy and it's not really, it doesn't really taste that good when it's soggy, but this one was better. Now, we'll see how this steak is. I'm, I'm about to dive into this thing right now. Okay, this is much better, as you can see. Yeah, this is way better. Flavors, you can taste it way more than uh, the steak before. So, some of y'all might be scared a little bit of this, but that's where the flavor is. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna devour this real quick and get back at you. As you can see, the plate says it all. Yeah, that little slight tweak made all the difference. So, yeah, I'm very satisfied. Now, on to the uh, dessert. I don't want to overdo it, man. I'm telling you because on the second leg, we have specialty dining and we're eating lunch and dinner. So, we're, we're going to be some busy bees and specialty dining on the next sailing. All right, the cheesecake is here, you guys. There we go, strawberry on top. And she got the key lime pie. She's trying to get me to try this key lime pie. Should I do it? Absolutely. Absolutely just not. A bit, just a little bit of yellow. Okay. Just a little bit. I, and by the way, I've never had key lime pie in my life before. Okay. We're trying about this much. But let's see. Ah, it stinks. <laughs> I swear, this, <laughs> this smells like feet. I, I kid you not. This, oh my god. No, no, this, this smells like feet. No, I, I'm not. No, no, she's not. No. <laughs> No. No. Oh my god. Uh, you are a dramatic one. Oh. Alright. It's slimy. It's actually not bad. It's not something I'll probably get again, to be honest. It's too limey for me. It's like too much. And that and that was just, I mean, you saw the little tiny speck that I had, but that's too limey for me to eat a slice of. I'm gonna continue on with my cheese. Oh, and by the way, I got him to give me another slice, so yeah. We just got back from the main dining. We're actually about to head out to the ice skating show, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what we're doing, but they actually open the doors to the other room. So here we are, we got the pass through open. This is her, her room and this is my room. Now, let me answer the question you guys are probably wondering all video was, why do they have two different rooms? Now I did say we're doing, you know, this is the freak off room, sort of. But anywho, the real reason we have two rooms is because we get double crown and anchor points first cruising solo in the cabin. This is my cabin and I sail solo for nine nights, that's 18 points. And she gets 18 points as well. After this sailing, we will end up with 36 points for crown and anchor, which that will put us at platinum. So platinum's 30, we'll be at 36. Our goal is to get to diamond. Now I should be at diamond by March. So that's the goal, We're trying to get to diamond. I know some people say like, oh, don't you shouldn't have it's easy to say when you're diamond, diamond plus, and pinnacle already, but this is the reason why we have two different state rooms. And another reason we booked two rooms, because some of you also might be thinking like, why don't you just book a suite and you can get the double points that way? Don't worry, your man's already done the math. I tried to book a suite and I looked at the cost and price of it. It was actually cheaper to book two interiors than actually booking a suite for nine days. So, yeah, that's why you did not see me in a suite uh, instead of two interiors. But actually, I do kind of like this a little bit better. You do sacrifice a potential view, but you pretty much get the same sort of size. I, I don't know the the size of this interior or and obviously you will multiply that times two, 
but the multiple times too where it's really crucial is the bathrooms so we both have our own bathroom like we don't have to wait for each other to get ready we don't have to i don't have to wait for her to like oh you're done doing makeup or oh hey move out of here i gotta do this we both have our own shower especially coming out of the shore excursions or coming back from the gym or just getting ready for uh like dining or whatever and it's great you know and also one of the cool parts is like hey if we have noisy neighbors over there. Hey, let's use this room to sleep. Or if the neighbor's there, da -da. or if something's wrong in this cabin, hey, we'll just use this cabin to sleep in, or and vice versa. So um, it actually is it's kind of a cool strategy. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys tried that before. Leave it in the comments. All right, I made my way in here to Port Merchants. I'm trying to price out some alcohol, but I'm just looking at some of the prices of these items that you know people say like, hey, bring these on your cruise, otherwise it's gonna be like too expensive. I do know this though. This thing right here, if you don't bring this on board, this little, how much is this? Two point, no, not even an ounce. This is $25 if you have to buy this on, on board. Continue to walk through the promenade. Uh, I can actually feel some of the motion of the ship. Uh, funny thing is uh, you see playmakers here in the background, but I'm gonna stroll back here later because it is Thursday right now. And it's Thursday night football, which means the Cowboys are playing the Giants tonight. So. I'm going to see if the Cowboys can redeem themselves. How about them Cowboys? Get her, get her there faster. <laughs> like a shot of nitrous. Oh, oh cheers! Oh, dang. Clink, clink, clink. There you go, party time. Oh, that was good. But check it out, Cowboys playing the Giants. They're up one point. If you haven't noticed, there's been a slight wardrobe change. I have a hat and a black T-shirt on. I actually took a shower because I was feeling a little, a little dirty. So I was like, yo, let me. Let me take a shower and then I was like, let me lay down because we have a few hours. It's been a long day. Uh, that's all I can say. But tomorrow, what we have on tap, not a whole lot tomorrow. It's a pretty wide open day. It's a sea day. And by the way, it's looking like the Cowboys might survive. Minute left. Comedy show, we're about to find some seats. I'll let you know how the comedy show is a little bit later. We just did something different. We just walked out of karaoke uh, after the comedy to show. The comedy show was cool, but that's something we ne I've never done, right? You've never done either, right? We weren't doing any karaoke, but that was actually pretty fun. You get some good singers and you get some bad ones too, but now we're off to the bed. Do you want to get pizza? Like just one slice before we go, no? Before the bedside. All right, so she, she, she's put a guilt trip on me right before bedtime, of course. All right, so I guess that's a no. We'll, we'll be good because we're supposed to wake up and go work out in the morning, so, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll, we'll both be good. No pizza. Ooh, man, I'm telling you, I had to ch a chance to think on it again. That pizza is better than Sorrento. So, Royal, please put the pizza from Cafe Promenade and and replace that instead of sorrentos please man that, but also tomorrow you know what we're gonna do tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna get a gluten-free crust tomorrow fresh pizza and see if it's even better because i've heard people say get it fresh it's even better and i mean that wasn't bad so that's gonna wrap up today day one embarkation day 
see you guys in the next one. It is day two. And yes, a little bit of a late start. What time is it? 10.22 on the back watch. We're getting a late start as we should. This is a sea day, we're on vacation. There's no rush, but today, what do we have on tap? We have the belly flop competition. There's a production show in the Royal Theater. I forget the name. Oh, the nightclub. We will go to the nightclub because we did chicken out last night. We did go to the nightclub. We're gonna go to the nightclub tonight. Really, that's about it. Uh, we're gonna eat, of course. We're gonna go to the Windjammer. Oh, we're gonna go to the Windjammer for the first time. Ooh, we might try that pizza over in Cafe Promenade because, man, that thing is top tier. I mean, not as far as like the best pizza I've ever had, but way better than Sorrento's. So, Maybe either do that or the wind jammer. We will see. But I'm gonna go to the gym. We're actually both about to go work out. I just got back from the gym and it's time to shower because the wife is desperately hungry and she needs to go to the wind jammer, right? Yes. So tell how was your how was your workout? It's just good, but it's busy. Yeah. It's too many people. Well, it wasn't that many people. I've seen gyms a lot worse. Like when we're at Harmony, that gym was way busier. Freedom was super busy remember but we came back to our room service and we got a wonderful towel animal see this one's dope he put the shades on them let me know in the comments what what is this i have no idea what and maybe if i took the glasses off maybe no no, no difference yeah I, I don't know what that is so this looks like an elephant oh wow that's cool he actually put the eyes on there that's pretty cool see he added a little touch you like the, you like the touch that, of the eyes yes i like yeah. the little touch but i have to Okay, Kick all right, out. all right. We're gonna get a shower and we're gonna go up to the wind jammer and you guys will get to see what the food is like. We're on our way to the wind jammer. We're just waiting for one of these wonderful elevators. Oh man, we got the oh, traveling man, piano. In. Oh, shout out. Oh, come in, we can squeeze. Soon, I got we got it on day two. Here we are, wind jammer. First time eating. Now you know the secret. You know the secret of the wind jammer. You come in and you go straight to the back. You, you got to get the good aft views. They'll have fruits, the breads to fill up on this stuff. Let's see, they got some curry. What else? What else? Okay. Looks like a lot of Indian food, more fruit. I want to say this, because I didn't mention this yesterday. There's a lot of Indian people on this sailing. I don't know what's going on. Like, is there some group thing or is there like a convention or something? Not sure, but there's a lot. Now, I'm going to report back to you guys on the five day sailing and see if there's again more indian people because we're here in texas well this crew sailed out of texas and there's more latinos in texas than indians that's for damn sure but i don't know what's going on if you've guys been on mariner and you sailed out of here on the four day let me know wow the ship is just rocking like we all just went like that way it's kind of wild but okay so they just had like a salad area back there and now this is like the main entrees i don't know just Pork loin. Let's see. This is the Italian station. Here we are. We got the desserts. More desserts on the other side. Let me see. Yep. As I suspected, they got burgers, fries. Yep. Mac and cheese, hot dogs, and more desserts. Uh, I'm disappointed, you guys. Nothing extravagant to see here. Just a double cheeseburger and fries. She, she was more responsible. She got a salad, mac and cheese, hot dog, and some potatoes. But you say the mac and cheese is good? Mm -hmm. try. I'll be the judge of that. You know how black people are with the mac and cheese. So here we go. Watch, watch this. No. Oh my god. Cap, 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 cap. And these coconut ranger cookies. How many of you guys keep hearing about this thing? I think I've tried these before, but I'm gonna give this a rematch. 
because I can't remember what they taste like, but people swear by these things. They love it. Have you tried these? Just try, here, I'm gonna give her one to try a bite. I'm gonna see what she thinks. Hold on, I'm just gonna let her try it. Don't tell me what you think. What is that, coconut? It's a coconut ranger cookie. They're really popular. Don't tell me if it's good or not. Just, uh, oh, we'll, we'll leave it there. Hold on. Well, I'm going to try. I could see how people would like it, but it's not like top tier. No. Not, what do you think? It's like dry coconut cookie. Nothing. Nothing. So you don't like it? No. So, but but see, look, 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 look. Take this with a grain of salt when it comes to her, okay? She liked the mac and cheese, okay? Um, remember that, right? Look, look, look who's talking. Look, look who you're getting your information from, the person who liked the mac and cheese. Whatever, it's so skinny, it's dry, it's so good. Yeah. It's not like a, yeah, I, mean, I bet it is. But it's not horrible. Oh, horrible. I wouldn't say it's horrible. It's, it's kind of soft. I mean, it's a lot softer than that, that chocolate chip cookie I got in Cafe Promenade. That's for damn sure. But, I mean, it's all right. But I don't see what the hype is about this. Will you get another one? Like, you mean right now? Like, later on, will you get another one? Um, no, you would not eat another one. No, I mean, if I had the choice between this and chocolate chip cookie, I'm going chocolate chip. If I had the choice between this and the oatmeal raisin cookie, like, I'm going oatmeal raisin. Cookie? No. no. All right, case closed. As we were talking about the coconut ranger cookies, get over here, get in the shot. <laughs> uh, oh, get in here, get in here. We, you have to remember, food is subjective, so everyone's taste buds are different, so don't take, well, shoot, huh? it, it just depends. Look at both of us, right? Take one of our words for it, okay? Whoever you like the most, just agree with us or this person, whatever. But to piss us off, let's turn this camera around and this was, this is the lunch menu. This is what we could have chose other than the windjammer. So I could have actually had a bar barbecue pulled pork sandwich. I could have had the royal chicken sandwich, got the mozzarella sticks and did the um, the secret sandwich that you would get in Coco K, that's all it is. The chicken sandwich with the mozzarella stick with the marinara on top. I, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I, I learned my lesson. I could have got fish. Okay, so I learned my lesson. Eat at the main dining for lunch. Do not go to the Windjammer anymore. Lesson learned, guys. We made the mistakes so you don't have to, okay? But now we're gonna roll through the promenade. And let's just see what's going on. We're gonna go back up to the pool deck and watch the belly flop competition in less than 30 minutes. It always smells like white duck for me. Uh, yeah, but she got uh, pretend that you found the one in the morning. Pretend yeah. that you found the duck. I found one you in the morning, the creepy one. Yeah, and she saw me on TV. Yeah, I was, I was scrolling through the yeah, channel. Still have the duck in I was like, ah. Oh. No, you know what's funny? When I was uh, watching you on TV, I was like, man, she has really nice eyebrows. <laughs> so it was, it was good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm buying ducks on Amazon, but I buy the Halloween one, so I'm going to hide them all over. Uh, but you guys are not going to be here. It's going to be on next cruise. Next, next cruise? Yeah. We're doing back to back. <gasps> really? Yes. So it's on the five days? Yeah. OK, yeah. Like, well, what, what day are you doing it? I would not oh, tell anybody. Oh, OK. Where are you from? Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, okay. Island girl. Island girl, yeah. Island girl. They were taking Kyrie, but it's like... <laughs> they got sandals for sale. You know, you know, okay. So, when we were on Harmony, I forgot to bring sandals. Now, look at my feet. Ugly. She Ugly. Ha I hate her. Just straight hate her. But, but no, no, no. I forgot my sandals. Again, these are just slides, but I forgot my sandals again. And I was like, don't tell me I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and buy those USA sandals. But now I guess this is uh this is like the royal shop and also the designer shop. They do have the Gucci handbags and stuff. And you see the Louis Vuitton over here. Like you can get all the little fancy stuff, you know, you can run up your CPAS card. Let me show you, I'm gonna show you how. See that? Look at that price there guys. Alright, we're here at the belly flop competition. I got prime seating. You see the hurt, the hurt box is right there. From Texas, get over it, please! Uh -oh. I don't know. I don't know. 
boy. What are you, what are you giving this guy? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Before we carry down, Clint, do you want to fuck with your sweater vest on or do you want to take it off? <laughs> she was talking about. getting closer in the Caribbean you can see the water is a lot bluer than it was in Galveston yesterday I think we might get some pizza but we came down to deck five and 
They posted the menu for dinner. Pulled pork enchilada, okay, spaghetti bolognese, tofu tacos, grilled chicken breast. Maybe I'll get a grilled chicken breast and I'll be smart. Uh, they got escargot back on the starter list with the chilled shrimp cocktail. Oh, they got warm apple cobbler. Like this is, this right here, that's my kryptonite. So I'm, I know I'm minimum I'm getting two. You saw I got two cheesecakes in the last video. This one, you know I'm gonna do it. It's a two shot minimum. All right, we're in the Cafe Promenade. We just ordered the gluten-free crust, half cheese, half pepperoni. All right, here's the gluten-free pizza. Half cheese, half pepperoni. So we're gonna see how good this thing is. Let's see what she thinks. Get her opinion. It's, it's hot. See, she, she's trying to have the skin on the top roof of her uh, mouth burn off. We've all had that happen eating pizza before. Opinion compared to yesterday. Uh, does, it still, does it still taste the same or is it better? In your it's opinion? It's the same, to be honest. I don't does think it, so it's better. No, I'm saying because it's fresh. Does it taste better that it's fresh? Yeah, you can tell it's like out of the oven. It's so hot, but it's good. It's okay, the gluten-free factor. Can you tell it's gluten-free? No. No? Okay, I guess uh, her stomach will tell you later. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these pepperoni slices and give you guys a report. Of course, I gotta go here. She says you can't tell. Pretty good because it's so fresh. Look at it. Look at that cheese. Ooh. Ooh. You get the... It is good that it's hot. This one, it's not as crispy as the one from yesterday. This one but seems a little. Like fresh, so. Yeah, yeah. So this one's not as crispy. You know, obviously, you know, can like fold this and all. But it's good though. Kind of like the one from yesterday. Kinda. Stay tuned for more. I went up and I got a slice of pepperoni. Regular, not gluten free. Just to do a comparison because. Like I was saying, it's like, man, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Like I say, the the gluten-free one, the crust was thin, was flimsy. This one, I can tell it. The, the crust feels a little bit firmer. Um, you can tell, like, the, the crust right here, it feels firmer here. But I think this one came out fresh out of the oven, too. It does taste different. It tastes different. This is that more right, traditional type of pizza taste. Hey, taste this. Actually, take a bite of that and then take a bite of this. You can taste it like on the first bite. It just tastes different. Yeah. Yeah. So the crust tastes different. Yeah. Yeah. You. So, I guess. Ultimately, I guess it's up to you. You can go gluten free. It's not bad though. The gluten free? Yeah, yeah the gluten free is not bad. But this one, like, you can taste it from the first bite. But if you like that pizza taste, get the regular one. If you want to be careful, because you know you're going to be eating a lot in the fruit, go, go gluten free. I'm back in Port Merchants looking at some alcohol. I gotta bring some tequila back. I just don't know which one I wanna buy. But while I was here, I had no, I couldn't help but notice there was more KY jelly here yesterday than there was today. So people, people out here getting busy on the cruise. It's formal night, guys. So we're about to go down to the main dining. We're all black. See, I thought she was gonna do wear this and i would go all white but she threw a curveball at me so we went all black tonight something a little different we're gonna go to the main dining now i'm being a douchebag and wearing shades and yeah. this is this is just a personal preference of course today i'm wearing the carrera with the nishane 
Hasivat. Well, you saw what I'm gonna be getting on the menu for tonight. So if I deviate from that, just watch. But I, I got a little curveball. I'm gonna see if the waiter can make something happen for me. So stay tuned. We're at the main dining table for two. You see the views in the back there. Ironically, we got the same waiters. So this is great. And then Paul and Dinesh, as you guys saw earlier, I'm gonna get the same thing I said earlier. We're going grilled chicken breast, but I'm gonna do something a little different. I noticed on the, ch the chili lime crusted salmon, they have sweet potato. So I'll probably get two sweet potatoes and get the grilled chicken breast in replacement of the potatoes and carrots. Keep the spinach and I'm getting two warm apple cobblers. As you know, I've got to have it. So here we are. We got the fresh breads right on time. Let's, let's do it, do it, do it. So stay tuned for the food. I totally forgot. I've been eating. Here, here's the chicken, spinach, sweet potato cubes. She got salmon. I know, I feel like I tried it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it has mango salsa on top uh, over some spinach, a bed of spinach, and maybe something else. It looked like maybe some, oh, they're actually, uh, there's actually sweet potatoes. Good, especially after working out earlier today, going to hoop, and then we had that pizza in the uh, cafe promenade. So it's kind of a good thing that uh, eating a little bit healthy, you know, to end the evening, you know, because tomorrow we'll be in Cozumel. So stay tuned for that video. Warm apple cobbler here. If you've watched my other videos on other rural ships, I'm expecting the same. So I'm gonna dig into this. We'll see. I mean, I know what to expect. Some warm apple cobbler. It, I mean, this can't be bad. But she got this is what coconut. Coconut cake. to what? Layered cake. Okay. How is it? It's good. I just want the coconut. You also got the tofu. Tofu cheese. cheesecake. It's a vegan. Yeah, the vegan. Yeah. I yeah. want to try it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Stay tuned. Cake. Okay. This is different. So. Vegan tofu cheesecake. Please do the honor. I'm curious. Give me a yay or nay. Ah, okay. Oh, you can tell it's vegan. <laughs> Is it not good? It's not good. I mean, okay, yay or nay. It's like some kind of cream. Yay or nay. 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 I mean, it's good, but it's not cheesecake at all. Yeah. But we're gonna go to the show. We actually we have less than ten minutes before the stole shark. So no, the show starts. Did that? That's a shark. All right, in here, we're about to go into the Royal Theater. It's show times. busy it is now I predict it's not that good she's optimistic I'm pessimistic so we'll see All right, what do you think what do you think what do you think yes. Yes. So tell the people what just happened well before you do again okay again this happened this is the second time this has happened mind you we're still in the nightclub might look funny the lights are on so what happened Again. Broken drink, second time. Yeah, people breaking. On the dance floor. Yeah, on the dance floor, people breaking glasses. Look. They literally had to stop the music to clean up broken glass. Like, right, come on now. And the dude, he's actually right there. Like, he's the dude with the tank top on at the bar. Uh, 
Yeah, they, they don't need to be serving him any more drinks. Quiet as kept. She's over here, she's showing out because of this stupid song. I hate this damn song. Oh, to the legend. Oh my god. She's not just trying to show out for this song. Go over here. She's calling it. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. There's been nothing. No. No. She's crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Look at her. Jeez. Like she's trying to pretend to be a party animal. She's, trust me, she's pretending. Remember. Go watch the Freedom of the Seas video, the vlog where we went to the nightclub and she couldn't take it anymore. She had to take her shoes off and everything. Oh wow. Hold on. Time out. It is. 1223 on the bat watch wow the promenade is a ghost town boleros is a ghost town we got to get some sleep because tomorrow we're in cozumel so that's gonna wrap up today's video <laughs> get out of here i'll we'll see you guys in the next one. it is day three and we're at cozumel i'm gonna tell you now i already made a mistake i'm here at guest services and here's the issue the issue is not with guest services but the issue is but this right here, I made a mistake, y'all. I did not bring any cash. Wonderful wife, card please. These guys do not make this mistake. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's saying declines. I have an even bigger problem now. So again, this goes to show, bring cash with you on the ship. And we're off the ship. You can see it's real cloudy. Whoa. Have a great day, guys. Thank you real cloudy as you can see but it was raining here earlier in the morning and i was a bit worried because i was like dang so the plan is we were gonna tour the island we're gonna uh rent a scooter if you've never rented a, a moped or scooter riding in the rain is very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing uh and shout out to alex i highly doubt he's watching this video but i remember alex he was riding a scooter and he was coming out of the apartments. We were coming in and he saw us and he was trying to be cool. And guess what? He hit the pavement hard. I was like, ooh. I was like, dang. I was like, you okay, Alex? Alex? Yeah, Alex, Ukrainian Alex. Shout out to him. But boy, he, he hit the pavement hard. I was like, wow. I've got some clients and one of my coworkers that wants me to buy something for them. So if I can find it, I'm gonna buy it for him. Off here in the distance, that's the Carnival Valor over there. That ship is actually sailing, I think it's doing four night sailings, I think. Four or five, I can't remember. But out of New Orleans, a couple other clients of mine were actually on this ship uh, a few months ago. Kind of crazy because both of my clients, they're from Mississippi. They don't know each other, but they ended up on the exact same ship. Now I live in Dallas. So, and that ship is sailing out of New Orleans. A small world how two of those two people ironically from the same state ended up on the same ship on the same sail date at the same time crazy and by the way that's a party ship if you did not know all right so this is uh margaritaville you didn't see it but i just tried that one of the shots boy it is all gnarly i she's going for round two Woo. Fries the worm. Oh, okay, there's the worm. Yes. That reminds me of the bad days when my 20s. This is exactly why I don't drink mezcal or tequila. Now look, we've been here to Cosmel before, so it's just a bunch of shops and stuff. But we got to find an ATM because I'm trying to resolve that the cash issue. Uh oh, we got Viagra. Uh oh, look, I get some Viagra, the KY jelly. If this room's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> I just heard about it. <laughs> so, this is what she's looking for. Hi. I think, is, is this close? Is this it? Is this it? While I'm looking for the shot glasses, look, look at the sign. The person who is caught stealing will be charged four times the value and won't receive the product. <laughs> that's, that's called justice right there. Oh, and here is the, the lonely beach in Cosmo. In my opinion, I don't consider this beach, but as you see, there are people here. 
There is a ship right here. This is hilarious. We spent, what, 15 minutes looking for the ATM? We get to it, and look look what you see. We're gonna go off the ship and let's see if we can get to the scooter. So. If you pay cash, you save the taxes. Here in Cozumel, Mexico, if you pay cash, everywhere you go, you have tax free. Yeah. If you pay by car, Visa, MasterCard, you have to add commission banks and taxes. How much, is, how much is it with 16%. car? 16%. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah. You see the red jeep? It's in front of the red jeep. I can walk. Ah, okay. Alrighty. So, $55 for the scooter. I was trying to pay 50, but off the bat he said 55, which is a good deal compared to some of the stuff I've heard last time I was here. I, they, they told me prices of 70 last time, and then it went down to 60, and then I got 50 once. 55, I'm not gonna complain about $5. We found the ATM off site. All right, now check this out. So. Uh, yes, so there's a $8 transaction fee, then there's an exchange rate of $16, so just be aware. Okay, there we go. I don't know what was up with the other ATM on the ship. It would have saved me a lot of money, but it is what it is. Another thing I hear uh, here in Cosmo, there's a Sam's Club. Is this true? Is there a Sam's Club here? Sam's Club? Yes, we have a Sam's Club. Oh, I'm just too curious. <laughs> I'm way too curious. One, to see how it looks like the ones in the U.S., if there's any difference. I guess it's the same. Well, it's the never, same? Been in, never been in the U.S., but I guess it's the same. Now we're on our way to Sam's Club. We're gonna go hit downtown, go right off the light, go down two lights, and then Sam's Club is on the right. So, sounds like pretty simple instruction. Downtown, he says about, what, four miles? Four miles away. Yeah. On we go. So look, they got the horse and carriage. Yeah. Horse and carriage rides. Oh, they got a hooter and a star boat. And they got a senior frog outside of the ship. We made it to, I'm gonna assume this is the downtown area of Cozumel. Look, it's, it's really touristy. Here we are, downtown Cozumel. Again, it's just as touristy as the port, but a little cooler. You get more of the Mexican flavor and stuff. So yeah. I don't know if there are like performances or anything that happened now, between now and whatever, but it's a lot of open space for something. Really nice stuff. Oh, I guess that's the... Another Cosmo sign. You can find these things a lot of different places. <laughs> But man, it was nice riding on the, the scooter because we stopped sweating and that breeze felt so good. Now we're walking again. Now I'm starting to perspirate. Oh. Man, I might I might have to get a drink. It's it's hot here. Now it's not that hot, but compared to what we came from, just the weather here is just way different than Texas, even though Texas can be hot, but when we left Texas, it wasn't bad. It was like mid 80s. 
but you can definitely feel the humidity here. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I found the bag. I found the bag, so she'll be happy. Found some stuff in a nice gift shop here. You see, like as you walk through downtown, like you'll be accosted by almost everyone. And honestly, if you want to save yourself a lot of time, just ignore them. It might seem like harsh, like you like, oh, I'm a nice person. Trust me, just ignore it because they'll try to get you in the store and say like, hey, find little things. If you, if you even, if your eyes just look at something for two to three seconds, they're like, hey, da da da. -da. Just ignore them, please. Save yourself the trouble. We're gonna try to find our way to the Sam's Club. So we actually have to go back. Like we're back on the main strip. We gotta go back, find a light, hit a left, go all the way down, and then we're gonna be at the Sam's Club. She's gonna get her some a little something to drink. And these are the ferries that'll take you to Plow de Carmen. They'll take you to the mainland. I don't know how much they cost, but if you come to Cosmel and maybe you just you don't wanna hang out in Cosmel, you Want to go to the mainland? You could literally just take a taxi, come down here, hop on the ferry, go there for a few hours and come back. But the bad thing I hear about Playa del Carmen is if you want to go there to go to the beach, like you have to pay to get on the beaches. There's not that many like public beaches. They're all associated with the hotel. So you have to have like a band to be able to access the beach and, you know, enjoy the drinks and the food, et cetera, et cetera. We made our way to Fat Tuesdays. She's gonna try the hurricane. Which one should she do? This one, this one, or this one? Ooh. $18. All right, you already tasted the hurricane. We're sweating, it's humid. What do you think? You like it? Trust me, it feels good right now because you can see the perspiration on both of our faces. Like, look, <laughs> look at this, look, cheers. We opted for the big one. We're gonna finish this and then go. Bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up. Come on, there you go, there you go. Come on. <laughs> bottoms up. You should finish, this one's easy. Just go boom, all of it. Full spin, full spin, full spin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's a university here on the right. Let's see if the fans club is here. Here's a roundabout. Yes. Where's the fan club? <laughs> I just talked to the gas attendant. He said, we need to turn around, go back, and then go to the right at the roundabout. And then we'll run into the Sam's Club. So, Sam's Club, here we go. Hey. All right, before we go to Sam's, I want to roll through one of these neighborhoods real quick. See what it, see what it looks like where everyone lives. The cameras, uh, doorbell, everything.
This kind of reminds me of like Honduras, but with a little bit more infrastructure. When we're in Rotan, it's just a little bit more paved roads and a little bit nicer houses. But that's about it. Okay, now we're gonna find Sam's Club. I don't know, it looks like there's more activity at this intersection right here. So we're gonna see if Sam's Club, if you can see like up here. I don't know, maybe Sam's Club is ahead, past its light. We're gonna find out. All right, looks like this is like a supermarket or something. I don't know. We drove past. I did not see a Sam's Club. I don't know if they got lied to me or what. I do not see a Sam's Club nowhere. I'm gonna turn around. I just talked to the guy. I think we may be on the way to finding this exclusive and elusive Sam's Club. He said, go back down here at the roundabout, make a right. It's actually across from the auto zone. So we crossed the auto zone earlier where you see the guy at the auto zone and the guy working in the car. We're gonna go there and let's try to find the Sam's Club. Let's go. So here's the auto zone. That's one block. You said two blocks to the left. So not this. But maybe this? No. Wait. This? Yes, that's it. Yes, that's the thing. Okay. Entrada Sam's Club. The sign is so tiny, guys. It's actually right off 11th Street. But the, the sign is so tiny and you can't see it. It's hidden behind all these bush. And actually, I thought it may have been like a school or something uh, back here. But no, this is the Sam's Club. All right, there we are. Sam's Club. It's not completely blue like the ones in the US, but this will do. It's green. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. I'm curious if they're asking for cards here like they do in the US Sam's. I'm also curious to see what they actually have in this Sam's Club, so we're gonna find out. Well, no greeter. I'm gonna assume the scan and go feature does not work in this Sam's. So, but yeah, it looks sort of like a Sam's, is I guess the Mexican version. It's big. Yeah, it's a big store. Um, it looks like both this sam's the only difference is things aren't sold in bulk so you come down here you see like all the items you can just buy them individually i like a lot of times like when i travel i like going to american places in other countries just to see because they're not all exactly a carbon copy of what we have in the states hold on hold on let's see where's the baby oil hold on hold on i think i'm close i got some caramel candies and we got i don't know what this is something for the kid but for the, the little snack for the ride home i got a snickers Wait. oh snap they got a little food area because you know sam's is known for having like the pizza the hot dogs the the drinks the candies etc etc oh my goodness time the hell out yo we just made a crazy mistake look i'm glad you're watching this video that store over there that we just went to, that's not Sam's. This is Sam's right here. I was wondering, cause the color, when I walked up, the color was different. Look, you can see there's a big clear divide between each of the buildings. This is the Sam's. Oh my gosh, I should have known. Because look, you can see the pizza and all the stuff. And then you see Sam's here. Oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot. Oh my gosh, horrible, horrible. Oh my gosh. So now, okay. Oh now this God. looks like a Sam. So you know how you walk into Sam's, you see the TVs and stuff like this. Obviously all the stuff in bulk, etc. etc. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stupid, I knew stupid Americans. Stu yeah, <laughs> stupid Americans is right. I should have known something was up. It didn't have the same color scheme. There were, it was not things in bulk. The layout, it was not the same. Now, in this one, I think the scan and go will work in this one. I think if you try scan and go, I think it's gonna work in this Sam's. But you can see, like, it looks the same. The shelving, everything stacked up where you need a forklift to get everything. Wow, that's crazy. 
We went. We. Did they have the same sign? Yes. Look, it looks exactly like the sand. You see that they have the coals here, just like the sands in the U.S. Man, we are stupid. They, they got the wine selection, just like they do in the Sam's Clubs. Right here. Oh wow, this Sam's actually has liquor. Okay. Shout out to the Mexican Sam's. Look, they do have the chickens over there. Those chickens that they sell in Sam's, the iconic. The sands on the inside, it looked, I mean, just like the stuff from the U.S. They actually had some items that we actually buy on the day-to-day -day in the U.S. Uh, but here, let's see what they have. Oh, they got the pizza up there. They actually have burgers? Wow, they have burgers. And they have some ice creams or shakes or something. And we're off back to another adventure. I don't know, maybe we'll cruise through some of the, the neighborhoods some more. Maybe get another drink and we'll see. Ooh. Away we go, all right, there's the Sam's to the left. We just left out of there. I think this is another park. Oh yeah, big big old soccer field. You see people playing back there. Oh wow. This is a tennis court. Oh, they got nice basketball courts there. A lot of them. What else? They got swimming pools. Oh wow. Nice. Looks like Olympic size. Yeah, this is a big old sports facility. People, they're really good about telling you if it's a one way or not. So, uh, yeah, they'll let you know if you're going the wrong way, which is actually kind of helpful because that could end up really bad. There you see like some signs, they'll have signs like this. This is like a one way, but not every sign says, you know, if it's a one way or not, but you know, this one actually does. Looks like there may be a circus going on. Oh, wow. That's cool. I don't know if the surf circus just got into town or if they're leaving. Let's go look some more. Oh wow, it's another nice it's park. Oh, okay. So they got the basketball courts there. Let's go off to adventure some more, shall we? On our way to downtown, we gotta get another drink before we head back to the ship. Look at little man over there. Hey. <laughs> we made it back downtown. It's a little past four, but we're gonna get another drink before we head back. So. What do you do, bro? What's you up? Here. Yeah. You find you find the spot? Yeah. yeah. It took it took me a while because I was getting confused. I, I missed the sign and yeah, it's man. a little drinking. It's so small. Yeah. And it's in the back also. You know and what I mean? You know what's crazy? So we went into the store to the right, thinking oh, it was the other there. one. Yeah. And then we come out. I'm like, oh. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we yeah. didn't even go into this. They're right next to each other. Yeah. You know? Where yeah. are you always trying to find? Like alcohol or something? No, no, we're just, oh, just looking. Just looking. Yeah. It's Mexican Sam's Club? Yeah. It's the same yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Different country. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? All right, back to Fat Tuesdays. Get a pina colada. We're here with this pina colada. Better than the hurricane? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I like the hurricane a little bit better. We're done at Fat Tuesdays. Now we're gonna head back to the ship. It is 4.38 ish. Carnival in the distance is actually sailing away. You can't even see our ship. Hopefully it's still there. <laughs> Otherwise, I know what I'm gonna title this video. But well, let's, let's go, let's go. I bought me a shot glass. The last guy on the block, I got this shot glass here. So got this for a coworker. But yeah, he's the only guy open. <laughs> hey, as you see, it's almost five o'clock. All aboard time is 5.30. 
and you see the workers they're leaving to go home because i'm sure the duty free in the port area is closed i guess i'll see you guys back on the ship we're back so we're actually trying to make our way to the helipad just catch a sail away i think we've already sailed away if my memory serves me correctly we're gonna take a secret exit we'll actually go through the library and card room Let's see here oh no we've already sailed away looks like yes we have sailed away i did not even know that we sailed away I feel it. yeah i didn't feel it at all we're gonna get on the helipad and see what's going on there's the bridge you can see a few of the captains up there but so look who it is your favorite um who knows anywho it's kind of ironic matching. yeah we're matching she's wearing a, a lacoste dress do a little spin okay ironically with me goes even deeper wearing the pants and the shoes so let me give you a closer look shoes and <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not sponsored you can see there that's Cozumel adios we'll be back in five days I think right now we're waiting to go to the dining we got about 30 minutes until my time dining opens up. The water is actually, the water is actually really calm. Like as you can see, you can see how. Uh, I'm here at one of our favorite spots, or at least my favorite spots on a Voyager class ship in the, whatever class Freedom is, I think that's Freedom class. The library card room where I think this one is just called the library. Miss Anna, you're here in this interview. Why, why did you apply for this job? <laughs> Imagine the description. What makes you think you would be a great employee for this company? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's she looks like she's about to get interviewed for a job or something. That's what, she just has that look. As you can see, we got about twenty minutes before my time dining opens. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys what's on the menu after we leave here. Stay tuned. Menu. There's the starters. I don't think I'm gonna get any started. Oh, wait, no. no I not. am. I see it right there. That crispy coconut jumbo shrimp. I will be getting probably two of those. Uh, since that's the case, I guess I'll, man, I may just only do the New York strip. And for dessert, uh, oh, that chocolate brownie. Oh, they got carrot cake too. Wow, I might double up on everything. That might seem like a lot of food. You allow me to explain. We only ate breakfast. When we were at port, I had that snicker bar you saw earlier. And I had all the, with the hurricane and the pina colada. So I'm making up for lost time. All right, the crispy jumbo coconut shrimp has arrived. Two orders each. We're gonna dig in first. Tell me, tell me, tell me, madame. What, is, what does Mrs. Sharapova have to say? Oh, it's so good. It's good? Yes, this, I was waiting for it. <laughs> it's good. I don't know what this sauce is. Here, you can see this it's sauce. Sweet. Yeah, it's a sweet sauce, but if you've ever been to Coco Cay and you went to Hideaway Beach, they have this exact shrimp there. And you can just load up on it if you love shrimp that much. I got double steak, medium rare, baked potato. Let's go. She got some pesto something. I don't even know. I didn't even, oh, linguine. I didn't even see this on the menu, but I'm gonna assume it's good. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you, you, you tasted it already? Good. Piece of advice, when you're ordering the New York strip from the main dining, if you normally order your steaks medium, try medium rare. Reason is because they can tend to overcook it because this cut of New York strip isn't that thick. You know, this is a, uh, it's not even an inch thick. So, sometimes, depends on the cook, it can be easy to overcook it. So, a little piece of advice. You got ice cream and a chocolate brownie. Is it warm? No. No, it's not warm. And I got the carrot cake, of course, and the chocolate brownie. And by the way, that New York strip and potato kicked my butt. I am, I'm almost tapped out. I 
phenomenon as if we need to be here. We're right outside of Port Merchants. And look, she, she wants to keep the party going as if the hurricane, pina colada, the mezcal shots in the port. You did what, two shots? And then anything else? Obviously the numerous samples of margarita. Oh, well, frozen daiquiri and what else? Someone has to be an alcoholic in the family, I guess. Yeah, so we're gonna try something. This She actually sampled this last night. You know, every time I come to Poor Merchants, I have to do it. I do. I have to do a KY jelly check. Let's see what the KY is looking like. Okay, okay. Okay, they're still the same. It's a big shot. Yeah, that's what you're here for. You gotta put your big girl panties on. Here we go, down we go. Yeah. This is, this is what she's drinking. She's trying to fight off a buzz. Or <laughs> she's on like the edge of getting drunk. <laughs> okay, so we have what tonight? The comedy show. It's like a ventriloquist thing, which I've heard people say like these, this show is a little bit like, yeah, but the cruise director said this is a good one. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. I'll try to give you guys a little sneak peek. Also, what we're also going to do tonight is Crazy Quest. And then they got, of course, the nightclub after Crazy, Crazy Quest and Studio B. So that's what we're going to do. And then that's it. We'll see how drunk she can get tonight. She's been, she's been like in spring break party mode. She's been drinking all day. All day, like since we left the basically oh God, since we left the lying. ship. Yes, no, since we I left the ship. Not. Yes, yes, I was not. yes. Since we left the ship, you, you saw it. You the, <laughs> the footage does not lie, guys. Look, she's busted. Look, look. Check to come, 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 come in. Look, look. She's about to do a rum shot walk. Look, look at her. Look, look, look. Couldn't, couldn't stay away. Look at her. Look. You want to double up? Here, here. You can take mine. There we go. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. And guess where we're going after that? Da -da -da. Off to the Royal Theater, we go. We got the drunk girl there. She's waiting for me. She's trying to walk, like trying to dilate the alcohol out. Oh with, my with God. <laughs> yes. She's, no, what am I doing? Come on, come on. He's, 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 he's got something good we there. Got something going on. Yeah. I promised that you would get even, and I'm running out of time. See, I have a countdown clock. How would you like it to get to stand here and just do nothing? I'll use my skills and props to make polite for your family, and they'll never volunteer you for anything I get. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, all right. Hands out like that. <laughs> you seem to be formal like Lydia. She volunteered me again, the witch. You want to give you just point. That's it, point. Hi, sweetheart. The kids are not really yours. <laughs> yeah, lots of kids you don't know that. No, no. <laughs> Ventriloquist show, you recommend going? Yes. All right, Ventriloquist show is a go. My first one, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I've only seen them on TV. I've never seen one in person, but it was good. Now, we got front row seats to Crazy Quest. Look, look. So I'm gonna get y'all some good access. If you've never seen Crazy Quest show, you definitely have to go to Crazy Quest. All right, for your next quest, I need to see your male team captain, team number in hand, and bring me two different colored shoelaces completely out of the shoes. Go! Sacrifice my shoe. My shoe I, for the win. For the win. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I need to see your male team captain, team number in hand, and show me a man with his pants on. Backwards. Whoa, backwards. <laughs> Whoa. I need to see your male team captain, team number in hand, to show me a man wearing ladies' shoes. Guys, 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 some of them came to me holding the shoes. And when they saw me, they put the shoes down and they stepped in them 
and he showed me the number and then he stepped out and he picked up the shoes and he walked away. That was not the majority. Most of them came wearing the shoes. Listen, 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 listen. And even after I called the team number, they went back the same way. Okay. On the outside of the dance floor, in front of your team, I need to see your male team captain, team number in hand, and show me two men dirty dancing. crazy yeah, <laughs> yeah it was crazy. <laughs> it's close to midnight and you might be wondering why do i have these shades on we just left crazy quest the nightclub has begun i have these shades on because my eyes have been scorned i cannot erase what i saw that's why i donned these glasses because trust me you may be wondering why didn't you show the end of the crazy quest? Why not? Trust me, you did not want to see what happened at the end of crazy quest. It was not for your eyes to consume. Trust me on that. We're here at the promenade. Uh, what are you trying to do? Eat pizza. She's trying to eat pizza, but right before, we're about to go to bed. It's almost midnight and she wants I'm pizza. On vacation. But where's this appetite coming from? Y'all saw what we ate earlier, right? Look at her, look, look, yeah. look, salty face. Yeah. There, there's the salty face. Where is the salt coming from? <laughs> tell tell you them what the You whining about me eating pizza at midnight and no. you ended up with the cookies. Yeah, she's jealous because dry, I, because, look at, look, look, and she's hating on chocolate chip cookies. They're bad From Cafe cookies. Promenade. She is a straight hater. I'm not. Hating, Hating you on was the hating on me eating pizza. No, no, no. You're just going to support me. No, no, no. Me. I just no. I said, hey. You supposed I'm just, to just watch me eating pizza, but you ended up with a bite of pizza. Uh, I'm trying pizza. to close out a video, but here she is whining. This is what I say. I start off here. You go whining, salty. I can't even talk. She's just being whiny, whiny. Whatever. I'm gonna call the ambulance. <laughs> but. That's gonna wrap up the video. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> look, look, no, but look, I can't even finish the, the video. But look, uh, that's gonna wrap this one up. It was fun. Tomorrow, <laughs> it's our, well, no. It's every, <laughs> see, just a hater. Just a straight hater. Look, I can't even finish the video. <laughs> she, can't, she can't shut her mouth for like 15 <laughs> seconds and let me finish the damn video. <laughs> Look, just like Shug Knight said, all in the video. Anywho, Anywho, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last C day for everyone else, but again, we're doing it back to back. So, you know, we're gonna get the party started again, but tomorrow's the last C day. Um, got a lot of fun stuff planned tomorrow, but see you guys in the next one. We just finished working out, walking through the solarium. Final day of the first leg of the back to back. We just got done working out. I'm tired. I don't know about her. She, your legs are tired? Okay. Now, we're on our way to the Windjammer. In 45 minutes, they're having the world's sexiest man out here. So we're going to get something to eat, come back out here, watch that, go back to the room, shower, and then go watch the Love and Marriage uh, game show. Oh, okay. This is actually my first time coming by the doghouse. So they have dogs and all the fun stuff. So, I've never come here. Maybe maybe on the second sailing I'll come by the doghouse. Although I am hungry, I'm not hungry for a hot dog. Okay, we're in the Windjammer now. I forgot to record the food, but I had some Indian dish with rice. She had salad and a bunch of, she had like a smorgasbord or just random stuff. Um, but one thing she did say, she liked the no sugar chocolate chip cookies. She said these are the best cookies so far. So I haven't tried them. Uh, let me let me give it a try to see if I can confirm. They're soft. They are sweet enough. I will agree with her. 
These are the best cookies so far. I had the rice and this right here, this stuff is banging. This chicken is called chicken. I don't, I don't know, whatever, whatever that's called, but that's what I had. Not least, Big Tex, give it up for Steve! Oh. Oh. We have our winners! Oh. 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 Big Tex! Back in the room, fresh showered, and we are ready to go. Love and marriage, two o'clock. We're gonna go there, try to get a little bit closer so we can get you guys a good view. But again, I got basketball later. We're gonna eat. It's Italian night, so I'm excited about that. Chicken parma lasagna is on my scope. I will show you guys the menu of what they have, but we gotta get down to the love and marriage. Go have some fun. Last day of this sailing. I'm trying to keep it really chill because tomorrow you're gonna see the back-to-back -back process. And if you haven't watched the video from when we did the back-to-back -back on Freedom, this is gonna be a little bit different because we actually have the same room. And for the next day when we have unlimited dining, so we're gonna be eating up a storm. Kids screaming in the background, Bloody Mary. You can, hear, can you hear it? Can you hear it? All right, we're actually walking through the promenade. The funny thing is, I forgot, it's football Sunday. They're, they're gonna be showing all the games, playmakers, no audio. But we're gonna go back over here to Port Merchants a little later. And remember, I, I said this a, you know, a couple videos ago about like I was gonna try something. I'm gonna try it later. I'm, I'll tell you guys later. I, I, I probably shouldn't because if it works, why would I tell you? Because then a lot of people are gonna watch the video and then Real Caribbean will probably find out. I'll either get banned or they'll stop people from being able to do this one thing. Okay, football must be on. You hear, you hear people. We got to make our way here for the Love and Marriage game show. This little person here, she's actually trying to get us. She's asking me, do you want to do you want to try to be in the show? Do you do you want to be in the show? Yeah, do no, you want to no. be fun? No, hell Can no. Can you be fun? No, I'm just going to watch oh, the fun. For your viewers? No, just no. Can you be fun for the content? You know what's funny about the Love and Marriage game show? I think, if I remember correctly, they show it in the rooms later on TV, so you can watch the broadcast. Are you worried that he doesn't know your wife and you're going to lose? No, I don't, like know, I, don't, I don't know my wife and we'll lose. I'll admit it right now. First, but who in here is in love? Make some noise if you're in love. Here. What a ride. Oh. 
three words. Three words. I would like to know which of the following movie titles best describes your love life. Is it A, Gone in 60 Seconds? Is it B, Fast and Furious? Is it C, Superman? Or is it D, Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Curly. The first one. Gone in 60 Seconds? Oh. three questions, you now get the same three questions. I asked your wives, which of the following movie titles best describes your love life? Superman. Oh. <laughs> that is not what she said. <laughs> she said go in 60 seconds. <laughs> Just left the Love and Marriage show. That's always fun. That's that's one of those shows where, unlike the production show, the ice skating show, that's a show, in my opinion, I can watch that every time. Of course, because there's gonna be different couples, but it's just so funny. Just the dynamics of each couple make the show that unique. It's a, the, like one of the funnest shows I actually like to see. So, but we get to see it on the next sailing as well. And you know, while we're here in Port Merchants, KY Jelly Check. All right, they're still sitting on four. It's main dining time. We are all white. Look at us. It's an all white night. So it's Italian night. This might be very dangerous. We're wearing all white like this because I plan on getting lasagna or chicken parma or maybe whatever. Red sauce, all white, dangerous. We got to be extra careful. But let's look at the menu. So as you can see, we got the starters here. The main course there. And that's what I'm looking at, either chicken parm, or the lasagna. And then you see the desserts there. We'll see, I'm gonna take it light because as you saw earlier, I worked out earlier, then I played basketball, which kind of counteracted what I, we did yesterday. You saw that food in the, in the last video. I'm gonna do something very simple today. No starters, no desserts. I'm gonna go chicken parm tonight and maybe some lasagna, it just depends. Since I'm going no starter, no dessert, I'll probably go double up on the main courses. So let's talk about something real quick. Last day of the cruise, something really important. And we were talking about this earlier in the room. Make sure you check your onboard account before you leave the ship. Because we were in here looking, at least at mine. There's a lot of charges on mine that I'm gonna have to go to guest services. So I'm gonna be one of those people in line and guest services trying to square up some charges. So. I don't mention that a lot, but I've mentioned it before. You definitely want to do that before you get off the ship, because once you get off the ship there's, and they charge you, there's nothing you can do about it. Stay tuned. We'll, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes at guest services. It should be smooth. Okay, here's the chicken parm. So you see I'm like a baby here. So just trying to save myself. Okay, I'm going to let you know how the chicken parm is. Stay tuned. Update on the chicken parm. So, the chicken parm situation. I wish it had more Italian seasoning. I wish it had a little bit more cheese and marinara sauce. Shout out to my way that actually brought more marinara. But if it actually had more cheese on it, it was a little bit crispier and just more Italian seasoned, that, that flavor of it, it would be much better. But hey, hey. we've got some cruise friends. I've got lasagna coming, so stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm still doing good with the bib situation. My lasagna came. I'm gonna dig into this and report back. Report on the lasagna. Now, it's missing flavor. There's a lot of flavors that's missing on the lasagna. Um, I don't think I've ever had the lasagna before from what I remember on the royal menu. Personally, I wouldn't recommend the lasagna. If you know what real lasagna is, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, box lasagna, I would say is better than this lasagna. You can get, go to any box store and just buy lasagna, it's better than this. Um, but it, again, it's missing some flavor. I wish it had more cheese, I wish the sauce was a little bit more heartier, more thicker. Uh, and yeah, so this is what it is. So, on to guest services. <laughs> It's literally right there. So once I turn this corner, I'm either gonna have good news or bad news. 
No, it's bad news. It's a, it's a long line, but it's actually not as bad as I thought. So actually, we might just wait in the line. It's okay. But we were talking to some ladies next to us uh, and then dying and <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to tell that story because uh, I don't, I don't want to bring up uh, old stuff and have you guys actually perpetuating this nonsense. As you can see, look, I found my way in looking at some Rolexes. Yeah, this is a 36. Let's see how it looks on the wrist. I think I, I would prefer something a little bit bigger. What do you guys think? Everything, give you a, a different view. Can you see the difference in between the 36 and the 38? Yes, I can tell the difference. It's just, I, yeah, I can see it through the camera. I can see it there in the mirror. So here I was trying on the Carrera and obviously you guys know I brought my Carrera with me. I have a sort of a soft spot for Carreras. If you had to choose new Carrera on the left, or the classic look, which one are you going for? So look at this person. What, what do you what do you have? What is this? Look, never say never, but Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all remember the this from the other day when she was drinking this and guzzling this down and getting drunk? <laughs> Literally spring break that party girl. Uh oh, you see people already getting their luggage out for tomorrow. Not us. Look, look, look at this person pouring up on the look, last night. No, of the look at the happy person. Look, listen to that sound. We made it to family karaoke on the last night. Oh yeah, she's about to burn it up. She was, she's actually good. This girl right here, she's good. We got a crowd on the dance floor finally for karaoke. I was wondering when people were gonna start dancing on the dance floor. Leaving the Star Lounge from one party to the next. They got the 70s party going on right now. Of course, you can always expect this song on the Royal Caribbean ships. No music, what happened? 70 parties on pause. The promenade. Slowing down a little bit, it's after 11. People are gotta get to sleep, they gotta get off the ship early. But allow me to tell you something, because uh, I was talking about during dinner, the discrepancy on our card. So it was resolved easily. So we both have two separate rooms. So the charges that I saw on there, because I had more on my onboard account than she did, but he was saying that whoever's account that has the credit card where you can actually see the credit card on the onboard statement, that's the one that will be charged that full amount. So the number that she saw on hers was just the amount that she racked up. Okay, okay, that's it. Okay. Nightclub is over with. Uh, going down, all right, nightclub's over with. This leg of the trip is over with. Hey. 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 What's up, guys? Oh, one, of our, one of our cruise buddies got in trouble. Wes, Wes is in trouble. He's in trouble. We're gonna close out this vlog in the promenade. Not a lot of people. People are being responsible. I can tell on the four day, they're being pretty responsible. And I can only guess that on the five day, starting tomorrow, they're gonna be even more responsible. <laughs> That's gonna wrap this one up. What do you, you gonna say something? No. No, no? All right, we'll see you in the next one.